Please tell me if I'm wrong, but I've consulted three whole people on this and they all told me that I was right for leaving. And you're talking to the right people. Us on Facebook, we do this. I was supposed to go on a Starbucks date. This is what I was getting. I don't drink coffee. Anyway, we met on the apps and I'm back on the apps, unfortunately. And this guy, adore, very attractive. Um, he says he likes to do instant dates. So since it's Bumble, I have to message him first. So I was like, what is an instant date? And he goes, let's meet tomorrow. This was Tuesday. I was working, so we were, we were gonna meet today. I get there like 10 minutes early. I'm chilling in my car and I see what I think is him pull up like across from me and he doesn't move. So I go to the Bumble and he messaged me and he's like, are you here? And I was like, yeah, I'm chilling in my car. And I wave through my windshield at him. He's looking at me and I wave and he doesn't wave back. He gets out of his car, starts walking towards the Starbucks, like past my car. He has to pass my car to get to the door. And so I'm getting out of my car because he didn't stop at my car or anything. And so I'm getting out to go say like hello or, and stuff. And he like closed the door in my face. Now, I don't know about y'all, but like for some women or even just people, if the man just lets the door slam into your face and y'all about to be on like a date and he literally sees you, like at that point, most of y'all would have just turned around and went back to y'all car and said, fuck the date. <laughs> so then he's already sitting down. He's sitting down like when I get inside Starbucks, right? And like I wave there also like while he's sitting down. And he just kind of looks at me funny. And then I'm like, well, maybe this is the wrong person, right? So I go to line, I go to the line and I'm ordering my drink. <laughs> and I, while, I'm on my, while I'm ordering my drink, I'm on Bumble, like trying to see if this is the right person. So I'm looking at him and I look at him and it's fucking, it's him, it's him. So <laughs> he doesn't come up over to me at all in the line either. And then I'm waiting for my drink. He doesn't come over there while I'm waiting for my drink. And at that point, I've been in the Starbucks because they were busy for like 10 minutes. And with nothing, silence. Like, I've tried to talk to you twice. You shut a door in my face. And then you didn't speak to me. You're already sitting down. Like, you didn't come up to me or anything. So I get my drink and I walk past him. I walk past him. I go to my car. I get in my car, I go to talk, I go to Bumble so I could be like, that was fucking rude, like you wasted my time. And he was like, well, you have a good day too. What? I don't think I'm wrong for leaving. Let me know. Cause I feel like my, I have like crazy high standards, but like that was like the bare minimum and you failed, right? Okay, so you said you tried to talk to him twice. I'm assuming it's because you waved at him through your window. It's possible he didn't see you, I guess. And then um, you walked up to the door and tried to talk to him, but he closed the door in front of your face, which when you tell me that, it's like as if he didn't see you at the door either. So you walk inside, you see him sitting down, you wave at him, he looks at you funny, which I'm not sure why he looks at you like that. He could have waved back. So you go order your drink. You were sitting there for 10 whole minutes and you got upset because he didn't walk up to you in any of that time period. I can say that he's kind of whack for that. Like, he could have just walked up to you. But low-key, you could have walked up to him. I mean, it goes both ways. So, in this case, you guys are kind of both being the wrong. Because why the fuck didn't either one of you guys walk up to each other? Then, instead of walking up to him, you go to the car and text him and say, thanks for the date. <laughs> like, it's a, it's a little petty. A little, a little petty. But I will say, if your preference is confident men, a confident man would have walked up to you, shook your hand, gave you a hug, something came brought you to his table all that shit he didn't do none of that so i'm i'm really confused because why the fuck did you go on the date what was the point what what was the point of asking her to come out in the first place now one idea that i had is that maybe he didn't speak to her because he probably felt catfished which is still not even a good reason it's very superficial but sometimes you'll see a person on their profile and they'll look like this but then you see them in person and they you know they just just don't exactly match and like you know men are <laughs> For some men, it's very important. But if that was the case, he could have been a man and just walked up to her and said, hey, I don't want to do the date. Thank you for coming out. I'm going to buy your drink out of courtesy, whatever. He could have been, you know what I'm saying? Other people were saying that in the comments and she came back with a response fast as hell. 
to you goofy men in my comments saying that I don't look like my pictures. What are you talking about? Blonde braids, nose ring, thick. Get a life. Okay, yeah, it matches. That's not a catfish, bro. That was on point. So like the rest of you, I'm like, damn, then what's the problem? If you weren't catfished, what is it? And guys, I went to the comments and I learned something that's going to be new to all of us. That's what instant dating is. It's basically like they show up. If they don't like what you look like, they're just going to ignore you and leave. What? Is this what we're doing now, guys? Is the inst instant dating? This girl says, oh, that's instant dating? She said, yep, it happened to me before I got with my husband. And the dude looked at me and said, are you stupid? When I walked up to him and he was like, this is an instant date. You didn't make the cut. Next, he got my drink in his face. <laughs> you, threw, you threw your drink at his face? <laughs> bro, you didn't make the easy. Bro, what? Wow. Guys, tell me this ain't true. Is this what we're doing now? Is this common? So I wanted to go look it up on and see if there was anyone else talking about it. And there is. Did you know there's now something called instant dating? No! Where people show up for the dates and if they don't care for what they see, they put in no effort and they simply bounce. I'm so done. I'm so done with all We this. are too. Guys, I don't use dating apps, so I didn't even know that this is what y'all was doing now. But like, I can... <sighs> I'm not going to say you're wrong for doing this because I do know some people be catfishing like a motherfucker. So sometimes it's good to see them in person. And I can't be mad if your preference is you want the person to be like physically attractive to you. So I, I can't be mad at you for that. But it's like, damn, it's a little superficial. And it's like sometimes you can find out like what they got in the inside might, you know what I'm saying? Like make make them look more beautiful to you. Like shit, let them let them get a word out. Fuck. I get how that can be useful for some, but not for me. It's just as bad as King Sid smash or pass, but in their face. It could just hurt the fuck out someone's feelings or their self-esteem. I don't know, y'all. That's just me. What do y'all think about this? Guys, we just made it to one million followers. Everything that we've been posting, the TikTok story times, I never thought we would, would get this far. I'm really a music artist, but I make these videos because I know y'all like them. So can you please follow the page for me? And outside of all this dead gang, remember, it was just you and you had a plan. You have come too far. Do not forget what you did all this work for. And I know you're discouraged, but you are close. We get one life and we not finna live it being no weak motherfucker. On dead and them, we got work to do. So pop your shit, star. If it was love, then why didn't you stay? I remember every time you told me that I was the one that couldn't be replaced But it was so easy to throw us away And the only way I keep my peace is thinking the universe wants it to be I fucking love you, but not more than me When I could die tomorrow, I cannot leave with no regrets You acting different, I'm peeping on that I really wanted to stay till the end But I gotta take off these rose-colored glasses And no one is time for me to walk away So 